would help if I turned it on. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Dr. Mover. I am the director of choirs here at Bloomington North High School. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to our fall concert. Thank you all so much for coming. Behind me stands our concert choir. This is our non-auditioned ensemble. Um, and they've just had two pieces of excitement about the future. God's going to set this world on fire, an African-American spiritual. And Jum, a piece about the excitement of bringing other people along with something that you're passionate about. Does that, that's not exactly what the words mean, but it's close enough. Um, we're going to conclude with the song Impossible Dream from the musical The Man of La Mancha. Thank you.
auditioned treble choir. Uh, these are entirely sopranos and alto voices. You must audition to be in this ensemble. You just heard Alma Redemptoris Mater. Uh, that's, this is a Baroque duet that originated as a duet uh, for, uh, written for a famously musical group of nuns, actually, in Milan, Italy. And it comes to us, at this point, almost 400 years old. Um, we're going to change pace a little bit for the next couple of songs. First, a song about a butterfly <coughs> emerging from its chrysalis, and followed by something very different from a butterfly emerging from its chrysalis.
so much for coming one more time. Um, our first concert of the year is always an exciting time, a chance to show off to all of you what we've been doing for the last two months and what you've been letting us hang out together has really resulted in. Um, our next concert, our winter concert, is listed in the program. I hope you make those as well as any of the other excellent fine arts events that happen in this auditorium every semester. Um, I also want to take this opportunity to thank the people who are making this concert possible, specifically today, our parent boosters. Um, we have a group, a core group of really dedicated volunteers who are here to help make this program into the best possible thing it can be, and we're looking for help. It could be you. 
Um, the parent boosters help out with concerts, handing out programs, collecting donations, making sure that the doors don't slam right in the middle of a pianissimo part. Um, they also help out with some fundraising. They're running the, uh, the merch sales back there, if you are interested in that, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, and, and they're also certainly looking for anyone who might be able to help out with bookkeeping and helping them get 5013 status, C3 status. If that's you, you should go talk to them after the concert right out there in the lobby. Um, I have a whole list of these to get through, I promise I'm going as quick as I can. Um, we're also, uh, we're doing our first order of choir swag, choir merch. We have t-shirts, we have sweatshirts, we have uh, hoodies. They are available for very reasonable rates from Bad Knees Tees, our own local t-shirt printer. Um, the last day to order is October 1st, that's this Sunday. And if you're going, wow, that sounds amazing, how do I do that? Wouldn't you know there's a QR code right in your program to help you do that. Um, those are printed uh, the following week, and they are delivered to the, your, uh, the classroom, and your students can pick them up starting right after fall break, assuming everything goes well. Um, and once, once that, uh, that October 1st deadline is gone, it's gone. No more opportunities, so get it in now, snoozy loose. Um, Speaking of things you may have noticed in the program, you may have noticed our wonderful advertisers. These are people in our community who think that arts in the schools are worthwhile and they're willing to put their money where their mouth is. If you um, have, the, have an option to support these businesses, I highly encourage you to do so. I, am I allowed to say that? I hope I am. Mr. S My boss is right over there. He'll tell me if I'm not. Um, but, uh, but there's also a list of choir patrons, who are people who don't need an advertisement, but again, feel that arts in our schools are important enough that they want to help us grow to become the best program that we can be. If you're interested in joining their number, uh, talk, to, talk to your students, talk to me, talk to uh, one of our parent booster club after the choir, after the concert, excuse me, and we will set you in the right direction. We would love to take your donation and put it towards any of our any number of our wonderful projects this year, uh, which include our, our special winter concert, which is going to be the second concert that our bass choir is going to be on, long story, uh, as well as our March concert, our choir with all, uh, all of our middle schools in the city to uh, who come in and sing with us, as well as our May concert, which is going to be the first time that a non-IU group performs in our hall. But if you're interested in helping us achieve these goals and more in years to come, we would love your support, whether that's through your time with the Parent Booster Club or whether that's through becoming a patron of the choir. Um, for those parents here, I did just send out an email. There is a choir social on Sunday. It's totally optional, but the address is in your email. And it's also on campus. Um, oh, I almost forgot. There's one other piece of things that you can buy outside uh, outside this, assuming we're not sold out. And they are small choir stickers. They've got our choir logo on it. You can slap it on water bottles, on laptops. I have one on my car, and I've had one for a year, and it hasn't had, uh, it has stayed on. So that says something good. Um, but those are available. They're out there. I think they're three for one sticker and five dollars for two. I believe we're cash only at the moment. But if that sounds like something that you, you would like, but you don't have cash, send your student in with some, and, I'll, and I will uh, exchange them in school. And finally, um, I screwed up the program because I forgot to include our, P our second pianist for the following piece. Madeline Bovington Freeman is joining us on piano. The two pieces that you heard from our chamber choir, which is standing behind me, uh, the first was Talakita, which is written by Rina Esmail, a San Francisco-based composer. And one really interesting thing about this is that it was actually written for a houseless choir. And it's become such a major hit across the country that I thought we absolutely needed to program it ourselves. Um, and then La uh, Soquan Dio Prede, is written by one of the few female Renaissance composers that we have a record of, Vittoria Aliotti. Um, and I want to, uh, I want to thank uh, Giovanni Zanavello, if he's in the audience, for his assistance with translations. Thank you so much. And if you're not in the audience, well, thank you later. Um, with that, we will conclude with Promise of Living from Aaron Copeland's opera, The Tenderland. Thank you all so much for being here.